So you keep hearing people say, listen to your higher self. It's totally your higher self. And you're over here like, all right, cool. Who the fuck's my higher self? Why does that bitch never tell me to stop drinking when I'm blackout drunk? Why wasn't she around during quarantine when I gained 20 pounds? Where is this girl? I have some words to tell her. <laughs> no, really though. When I first found out about higher self, over soul, I'm like, what is this? Like multiple personalities? Do it. Am I crazy? I mean, because I kind of feel crazy, right? When you start awakening, you're like, I see crazy people. <laughs> All right. We're going to talk about what the higher self is, what it does for you, and why you should listen to it in today's video. Click it. What's up, everybody? This is Lindsay, and you are here at Clarity Couture. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and soul for you being here today. I appreciate you. Appreciate you taking the time. You're amazing. So today we're going to talk about higher self, right? I think we hear that a lot now. Your higher self is talking to you. I say it all the time. I'm always like, oh, that's your higher self. Your higher self is trying to get your attention. Your higher self wants you to do that. Like I literally say it so much. It's my go-to. And I realize that a lot of you are like, what does she mean? <laughs> my bad guys. So today we're going to talk about it. Hi yourself, right? But before we get into that, I wanted to announce to you guys that I am launching my second round of the Content Creators Authenticity Key at the end of September. I did say that it was going to be the 21st, but now I'm thinking the 1st of October will be when the program launches. So the last week and a half of September, I will be taking discovery calls. If that's something you guys are interested in, click the link below. It will take you directly to my site where you can sign up for the waitlist. Everyone that's on the waitlist for sure 1000% gets a free discovery call so don't miss out on that guys and make sure that you are on the list if you want to be in the next round all right so today we're going to talk about how yourself and what the hell your higher self is so you ever get an impulse to do something and you're just like oh, i should switch lanes switch lanes and i should take this exit i never take this exit and then your logic kicks in and you're like we never take this exit it's actually like five minutes longer just go the straight just go the right way and then you're like whatever so you ignore the impulse and then you get stuck <laughs> on the highway for like three hours and oh by the way you really had to tinkle and your exit was the next exit but if you had gotten off if you had taken that impulse and you had gotten off not only would you be home right now but your bladder would be empty you ever been there before girl i feel you <laughs> It happens to the best of us, okay? I think before we really truly get into the awareness of higher self being that cool little buddy that's always got our back, that always knows the shortcut to the easier way, the better way, the aligned way, before we get into that awareness, those impulses just seem fucking crazy because you can't explain them. And so many of us have been conditioned to explain things, right? If you can explain why this person treated you that way, then you're not the one at fault. If you can explain why your dog went and shit in the fucking neighbor's yard, then you're not at fault. But here's the thing about that, babes. You're always at fault. <laughs> I'm always at fault. You're always at fault. Why? Because we create our realities based on our focus. So that impulse, my friends, is in actuality your higher self. And every time you ignore it, you push yourself more out of alignment. I really like the way Abraham Hicks defines alignment. Alignment equals impulse equals timing equals happy. Those impulses are actually little 3D markers letting you know that that's your alignment. So imagine yourself on like a racetrack, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely off the track. You guys should see me playing more. Okay. So anyway, you're on your little track and you're going and you're driving. Things are really good. We're driving. That's, that's the sound of my motor, by the way. It's really fast. And you see a blue marker up to the left and you're like, hmm, that's pretty blue. Ah, I'm going to speed past it. And then you see a red marker and it's like, don't go past this. And you're like, oh, fuck. Now what do I do? I guess I'll turn into the red marker. Okay. The blue marker is the impulse. The red marker is you ignoring the impulse and the experience you get because you ignored the impulse. I have so many stories of times that I have ignored the impulse. When you ignore the impulse, you ignore your higher self. You ignore your soul. So when someone goes, that's your higher self, it was that impulse. It was that knowing. It was that awareness without being able to logically explain why it is the way it is. And when you align with your higher self, 
all of these other struggles and seeming strife and tribulations and drama, it literally falls away. I have a perfect story of me ignoring my higher self all the way down to my period starting while we're trying to drive to San Diego, trying not to get me to go to the trip because it was so out of alignment with who I was. Fast forward to the trip. Did I have a good time? No, I did not have a good time. I did not have a good time at all. Was that at fault of anyone else's or of my own? Mine. It was my fault because I decided to ignore the multitude, the multitude of signs that my higher self, those little impulses, a multitude of them, I ran right over them. <laughs> just fuck that impulse. And I ran right into them all the way into a wall when I went into an energetic misalignment from not listening to those impulses. So when you're first awakening, not listening to those impulses, they're like, fine, fuck, whatever. When you are awakened and you don't listen to these impulses, when you don't listen and you don't take heed to what your higher self is telling you, it isn't just a fine, fuck it, whatever. It becomes fucking detrimental to your peace. I was unhappy as hell for 48 hours and it really didn't have anything to do with other people. Granted, the way I was treated didn't help things. But at the end of the day, it was my choice. So there is no finger pointing here other than to myself to go, I'll listen to you next time. <laughs> My bad fuck that sucked i get it now but along that misalignment i was able to pick up a whole little baggie of lessons and i really am grateful for the lessons that i got in that misalignment so even when you ignore the impulses which are telling you not to do something or to do something because it would usher you into ease into alignment into your flow abraham hicks calls it the vortex Okay, she describes the vortex as being the place where you're in perfect alignment and everything can flow to you. If you don't listen to your impulses, you'll never feel what it feels like to be in your own vortex. Shout out to Abraham Hicks for inspiring so many people. So many people take Abraham's stuff and uses it as her own. I don't know who needs to hear that, but I'm really tired of it. If you do that, can you please just shout out the woman who has literally created all of the Law of Attraction books with the exception of Think and Grow Rich. The secret happened because someone went to an Abraham Hicks convention and copied word for word what Abraham wrote, okay? So when it comes to The Secret, which is an enlightened and awakened so many people's lives, Abraham. So you will hear me refer to Abraham Hicks for about everything because I've done my homework and I know that that's where it originates from. And I'm always going to give credit where credit is due. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Your impulses are very important. Start listening to those impulses. Stop trying to logicize, you know, put it all into logical order. That's, the, I don't know, I use the word. I don't think it's actually a word, but I've been using it. Logicize is a word. Don't try to logicize your bullshit. Follow the impulse. Let the impulse take you away. Because when you can follow the impulse, you're in the present moment, buddy. And when you're in the present moment, everything can come to you. But the minute that you take yourself out of the present moment and into the past with stress or into the future with stress, you are then creating a future that is like the past and it cannot allow for your impulses to come through. So today's awesome affirmation is going to be, I am fully aligned with my higher self. I am fully aligned with my higher self. I am fully aligned with my higher self. And remember, you and only you control the alignment of your higher self and what you allow into your etheric field. Your focus is consent, okay? Your alignment will always depend on what you're focusing on. Remember that your body is a vehicle for your soul, so be sure to drive yourselves well, my friends. I love you. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at lindsay.got.the.key. Hey, I love you guys. Namaste.